Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. And some of the rookies now getting their feet wet, Mike, in the NBA. What are some of the more difficult adjustments to make as an NBA rookie? Learning all the rotations and defensive nuances, off the court, the travel, being away from the family, and on and on. And do you, do you give them to it in, in small portions? Do you try to lay the whole thing out in front of them? How, what's the timing of things like that? And you understand, Kevin, that when the race begins, you got to stay up with the rest of the people or your horse is finishing last. <laughs> that's, that's a tough place to be. Pippen, the pass to Grant, and the dunk by Grant. How about Pippen's decision-making in screen and rolls? I mean, he can really break the defense down. Here's Philadelphia. And here's Hawkins. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. To the wing right side. Six to shoot. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Jordan. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. A testament to his superior strength. I like watching Jordan muscle through contact and finish. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Michael Jordan at the line for one. They throw good Jordan the blend of athleticism and scoring prowess Jordan possesses is insane he's capable of destroying teams all by himself here is Hawkins this game he had 12 Williams a screen on Pippen Here's Anderson with the putback, and Williams is right there. How about that? Some volleyball skills out there. Yeah, good word to use. Just tapping it up and tapping it again. That takes great coordination. Now here's Jordan. Against Miami, he was really on his game. Right side, Pippen. the scoring column with that bucket one for two this game you know Pippen is about 6'8 but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound Russell a screen on Jordan Hawkins passes to Anderson Bull setting the pick for Anderson Williams trying to break free, and it's bold that time on the assist by Anderson. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Passes it to Jordan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got five. At six foot six with his crazy hops, Jordan could be a problem down low. Pass to Williams. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Jordan with the steal. Pippen with it. And now by Anderson. And slam dunk by Jordan. Textbook alley who finished that time by Jordan, picking a clean pass right out of the air for the big slam. Timeout called the 76ers. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. They can hang that loss on the defense. Just got bullied around by the opposition all game long. It wasn't a strong showing from them. 
Let's hope they learn from it and up the ante on the defensive end. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. Hodges checked in for Pippen. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Barnes, he's checked in for Bull. Allen comes in for Williams. Payne, he's checked in for Anderson. And it's Booker in for Hersey Hawkins. Now here's Payne. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And that one, good. And that crossover worked to perfection, the thing of beauty. Created all the separation he needed. Chicago with the ball. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. A second chance effort. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. And Russell gets it to go. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. 105 left in the first. Now, here is Jordan. He has seven. And they double up Jordan. Hodges the pass to Jordan. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. For Chicago, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Shooting two. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. And so Booker will bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by three. Russell sets a screen for Booker. The pass to Payne. Pocket six. Back to Booker. Over Jordan. Misses off the left iron. Bulls leading by three. Bobs it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Making the correct decision. Hodges with the assist. The 76ers have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Payne looking around. Barnes sets a screen for Payne. And that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for Chicago. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. the Bulls now. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Screen by Grant. Here's Armstrong. They get it back and it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. Williams has checked in for Allen. One big change in the NBA last year, Coach, was the flagrant foul rule. You think it was an improvement? The league had to do something to scale back the physicality. Guys aren't getting mauled inside as much. We can probably call this one the Lambeer rule. No, we should. <laughs> well said. Now, here's Pippen. Here's Cartwright. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Good job using his size to see over and past the defense and find the shot he wants. You can't forget about him in mid-range. He will take that. Pippen against Anderson. 
Pass to Hawkins. Over Paxson. It's hauled in by Pippen. Bulls leading by seven. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Over Anderson. The fadeaway J off the mark. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Hawkins passes to Anderson. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Hawkins. No good that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. But they were able to handle the 76ers. Pippen against Hawkins. Pippen, the pass to Cart. Trying to get open is Pippen. Cartwright misses. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Paxson against Hawkins. Anderson is screen on Paxson. Payne with it. Shot clock at six. Here's Bull. Oh, it just drops your jaw at how big Bull is. His arms seem like they go on forever. And that helps him be a phenomenal shot blocker. The 76ers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Taking two shots. free throw no good and he's good on the second the Bulls leading by six Pippen the pass to Paxson Cartwright with it. There's the dish to Pippen. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Paxson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. That one good for two. Green's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. Great recognition there by Paxson. Noticing the open teammate and setting him up for the painless bucket. Armstrong against Hawkins. Anderson outside. Over Pippen. Another miss by Philadelphia. For Chicago, they've gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. Backs down the step back, Jay. And it's a 10-point Bulls lead. I think this is one of the sweet spots for Pippen's jumper. He thrives in the mid-range game. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. here. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Grant. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Pippen. And Hodges subbed in for Paxson. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Barnes, he's checked in for Bull. Allen comes in for Williams. Russell, he's checked in for Anderson. And it's Booker in for Payne. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Russell sets a screen for Booker. Passes it to Hawkins. 
Barn screen on Jordan. Not that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Hawkins. Perfect touch on the floater. Hawkins making it appear rather simple there. Here is Hodges. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Jordan is double. Williams kicks to Armstrong. Six on the shot clock. Williams a screen. From deep, Jordan. And he's good on the three ball. Jordan's got 14. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. Pass to Hawkins. The three ball. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Little back and forth, Tay to Tay on the perimeter. Both teams showing off their range. Just another reminder of how excellent the shooting has become in this league. Now, here is Jordan. He's got 14. Let's it go from the wing. Another one falls for Chicago. Lighting it up, Michael on one tonight. The 76ers trail by 10. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Russell. Jordan with the rebound. Bulls have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first half. And the dunk by Jordan. Love that teamwork. Wasn't it beautiful? Nothing like a sweet alley-oop. Most importantly, they build on this lead. Booker looking around. Allen with the screen for Booker. Russell with a wide open look. And it's in! Yeah, wow, he nails the buzzer beater! This is a huge three for them psychologically. I mean, you don't want to go into halftime staring at a double digit deficit. When that thing's in single digits, you feel much better. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Bulls lead by nine. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Boy, you like the discipline and patience he's played with through the first half. Never forcing it, always letting the game come to him. Just good, sound, fundamental basketball. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And there's the feed to Grant. The pass to Paxson. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. Jordan can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by nine to the middle. And it's Williams finishing it off. You know, people rarely talk about Hawkins as a playmaker because he's such a great scorer. But that's a mistake. He can pass it, too. Pippen, the pass to Paxson. Outside, Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Here's Pippen. Got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. Russell with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Russell against Jordan. Here is Hawkins. He has five. There's a screen by Williams. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Hawkins. You got to commend Hawkins' focus there. I mean, keeping his attention on the task at hand. Well done to the paint. Here's Jordan. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Axon against Russell. Pass to Hawkins. 
Anderson outside. Here's Williams. Fades away. Again, Philadelphia. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. Back to Jordan. Over Russell. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Jordan's got 22. Smooth as silk. MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Timeout called the 76ers. Kings checked in for Chicago. Armstrong comes in for John Paxson. Philadelphia also making some changes. Allen's checked in for Williams. Payne comes in for Russell. And it's Booker in for Hersey Hawkins. Now here's Booker. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Anderson with the screen for Booker. Passes to Bull. Shoots over King. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And that was a foul. No question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Chicago making some changes. Williams comes in for Grant. And Hodges subbed in for Jordan. Barnes, he's checked in for the 76ers. That one misses. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Down low. Williams gets to Armstrong. Pass to Pippen. Two minutes remaining in the ball. Two minutes. Now here's King. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Pippen's got three assists in the game. The 76ers trail by eight. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Payne passes to Booker. Allen a screen on Armstrong. Lock at six. Feeds it to Allen. And he converts the layup. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Bulls leading by six. To the inside. And stolen by Bull. 112 left to play in the third. Barnes passes to Bull. Allen dishes to Bull. Taken away by Williams. Inside. King, that's good. King's got four points this quarter. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Chicago. And there's the pass to Payne. Allen surveying the D. Pass to Payne. Shot clock at six. And here's Booker. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Such a wide open look. And now it's an 11 point Bulls lead. A great jump shooter. Hodges can put it through from anywhere on the floor. Now here's Payne. Setting the pick for Payne. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And we'll be right back after this.
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Hawkins with it. Russell a screen on Jordan. Hawkins passes to Payne. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Williams. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Grant, right side, over Allen. And it's Grant that time on the assist by Jordan. Grant rising with confidence off the catch and shoot. And his jump shooting is probably the most overlooked part of his game. Payne passes to Hawkins. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. The willingness to sacrifice himself for the play. Hawkins going into the defense regardless of the contact. Percy Hawkins, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That's good from Hawkins. It's almost impossible not to admire the effort level Hawkins delivers on the floor. Whether that's finding his spots off ball or going after a foul ball. Anderson, he's checked in for the 76ers. And so Hawkins drills both of them. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. Armstrong against Russell. Armstrong passes to Grant. Outside, Jordan. And it's Armstrong missing. Defense was right up in his face there, and it spoiled his attempt to lay it in. This is it to Hawkins. Count that one. Just because he's known as a sharpshooter, don't get it twisted. Hawkins is more than capable of mixing it up on the interior. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Pippins check in for the Bulls. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Guys, during that last break, I heard Phil Jackson as he talked with the team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thank you, David. Here is Russell. After the Bulls pick up two, Anderson with a screen for Russell. Hawkins to the inside. Allen and the 76ers tack on two more. This is the kind of team player Hawkins is. Wants to feed his teammates. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Cartwright. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got his third assist on the night. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Hawkins against Jordan. Puts it up from 15. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Pippen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Up high to stop the alley. -oop. I've always liked the feel for the game that Scotty Pippen has. He's a dynamic passer, folks. Hexen against Russell. Anderson wide open. Trains it from beyond the arc. Boy, how much fun has this game been? Come on, man. Each side putting on an offensive clinic. I have really enjoyed it. It's incredible that they're still playing at this level. Now, here is Jordan. To the paint. It's stolen by Allen. 
And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Jordan. Anderson outside from outside the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. And the clock is on their side right now. Yeah, I think it's all about using as much time as possible at this point. Now here's Jordan. Back to Paxson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And the Bulls lead by 10. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Here is Hawkins. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. On the money from 12 feet away. It's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. Jordan passes to Paxson. Hawkins against Paxson. That shot is off. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Jordan against Russell. Jordan outside. Now the pass to Cart. Over Hawkins. Cartwright misses. Here's Philadelphia. Eight-point game. There's Russell with the three. The rebound by Cartwright. And here's Paxson. And so it's Chicago winning this one. Boy, this was an exciting game for sure. Made extra special, Mike, by all the noise from this home crowd. It was it was deafening inside. Well, they knew their squad was feeding off of them, so they did all they could to push them out there. And that'll wrap it up, folks. And so for Mike Fragello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.